Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue on the phone messages application. and I'm going to start by adding some new items. And to do that, of course, I can just uh, click on the new item here, fill in the phone number of the person. Of course, we need a phone number. Let's put that in there. And the name, Kalle Kurda. And who called? He called me, Peter. And the call has not been returned. Of course, I'm going to save that. And uh, that's one way of doing it. Of course, you can also click here, new item. That works fine too. And uh, they were calling Anna. Another way of adding new posts to this item is, of course, to use the quick edit mode. I kind of like that one. You can also find the quick edit mode here under the list tab, quick edit. And then you can simply type in here. And um, who they're going to call? Let's call Anna again. So that's an, another way of adding it. As you see, this return field is never really going to be used when you're entering new items. It's always going to be a no. So I'm going to create a new view that makes it even simpler to add items to this list. So I'm going to start with a data sheet view. And that can be a public view, of course. I don't need the return field there. And also, I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to do the filter so that it doesn't show all the previous phone calls in there. And I'm going to do that by filtering only show the ones where the ID field is equal to zero. And of course, it's never going to be equal to zero. The first item in the list is, gets the number one. So um, this is always going to be empty, this view, which is a good thing. So now I can just add five, whatever. Carl is going to be called there and uh, name of the person. And it's going to call Anna again. There we go. So now you see I do save a few clicks by having an, an entry view like that. So here I showed you how to add new items by clicking this new item button or by going into quick edit mode or by having a data entry view. So those are three ways of adding items to this list. In my next demo, I will we'll create the different views for how to see this information that we have in the specification right there. We'll create the today's phone calls, the unreturned and the grouped per person called. Thank you for watching this demo.